What's up guys? So, not that I've been dreading the day, but it's time to get this box organized. I got, uh, I bought a few things, a couple tool organizers, you know, sockets, things like that. Uh, I got a few good ideas for, uh, you know, the wrenches and things like that. Uh, a couple great companies out there I'll be using. I'll probably be make this, uh, like maybe a three part series. We're gonna knock out a few of these drawers. I came in today to do the plier drawer. I probably got, I don't know, maybe over 150 pairs of pliers. Um, and these drawers are 62 wide, so you know, I could fit them all in there, but you know, I stack a couple and you know, I'm tired of doing a stack of shame. You know, I, I, I feel like this box is big enough to hold my tools. I shouldn't have to pick and choose what tools are gonna be in what drawer. You know, I, I want a dedicated plier drawer for pliers. I want a dedicated electrical door, drawer for electrical stuff, hammer drawer for hammer, things like that. I got enough drawers here to where I don't have to mix and match and have different odds and ends in these drawers. Piece of beer to my mouth. That's what you get, no shave November. Um, but yeah, I uh, wanna show you guys kind of some of these things, these two organizers that I got as of right now. Um, ended up going with the plier racks. We're gonna use the wire ones, not the, not the snap-on ones that uh, you guys probably seen in some of my older videos or the plastic ones that snap-on makes where they sit up real high and then you just stack them. I got the wire ones. I think I got enough um, to stretch across the whole drawer, front and back, and then I even got some extras in case on the sides. We'll see how it goes. But pretty much set you guys up. Show you guys what I got. I'm gonna set you guys up on a tripod, maybe do a quick time lapse, taking all these pliers out, maybe wiping them down, going through them, and then just organizing them to see kind of how efficient these drawers can be with these uh, these plier organizers. You know, if something that comes along that's better, hey, you know, I didn't I didn't spend a whole lot on these things. I could always you know pass them down or give these wire racks to a giveaway or something like that. So. Also guys, I want you to stick around to the end of this video. Uh, got some news I wanna share with you guys. But uh, check it out, let me show you some of this stuff that I got guys. So here's what I ended up going with for the pliers rack. It's steel. So if the, you know if there's any thicker ones that aren't gonna fit in there, we'll have to figure something out. I think I think that's enough though. Um, it's got a nice coating on it, so it doesn't rust. I got the red kind of black and red theme going on. Um, and then here's the plier drawer again. We're gonna take all these out. This is what we're gonna do. This drawer's too uh, thin. It's not high enough to support the plier rack. So what I'm gonna end up doing is we're gonna take all these screwdrivers out of this drawer. I think this is a four inch drawer and uh, take them all out of the case for now and then bump a drawer up and then take the pliers and put the pliers down in this drawer. I'm gonna keep the blow molded cases just in case, you know, it switch drawers around or reorganize. I really like, you know, that these have a home. I like, I like these snap-on trays but you know, they do take up a lot of room. I just don't want screwdrivers rolling around in the drawer. So we'll see what I do with that. You guys have to stay tuned and see what I ended up doing for organizing the screwdriver drawer. I think I got about five of them or so. Like I said, you could cut these in half or however to make them fit. We'll see what these end up being. I got, just picked up a few of these, little cheapo stand up for the socket drawer. We'll see if that's what I end up going with. I also got these more or less for the uh, torques and allens and things like that, the specialty sockets that I got um, for, the, uh, for the socket drawer, kind of cleaned up in here a little bit, but I still got a bunch of sockets um, in this drawer that I still gotta put in there. A um, Couple triple squares and all that stuff that I had gotten, these little short allens and all that stuff, some more impact sockets over there that I gotta put in here, so. We'll see if we can clean this drawer up and how I'm going to set this one up and get the rest of the stuff in there. Get rid of some of these plastic trays. Some of these sockets obviously I don't use, but it's nice to have them when you lose one and things like that. So, here goes nothing guys. We're going to start off by taking all these screwdrivers out. 
and maybe put them in a box or something, stick them off to the side, because I want the work area clean, because I'm gonna put the pliers up there. So, hang tight, guys. Here's where I got these guys. Players holder, 32 piece red from Auto Body Now. That's their website there. Uh, part number ABN3001. They got them in red and black, and they also have them in uh, 16 and 32, I believe. Alright guys, so I so I got them pretty much, four of them in here so far, pretty much stretches across all the way from the front and back, and then I got one left over here that I could maybe, you know, maybe put shorter ones, I don't know, we'll see. I, I put shorter ones and cut it and then go this way with some long ones for each side, or just have an extra one. We'll see what I can do. But this, this probably will be enough. I don't know if this is enough to hold all 150 something pairs of, uh, you know, between the pliers and vice grips and everything I got, but we'll see what it ends up looking like. And then I got some purple power here because I like to keep the tools clean. So any of them that I maybe forgot to wipe down, I usually like to keep them pretty clean, but give them a wipe down before I find a home and then just kind of go through them and organize them, see what we got to do. But right now we're going to pull all these out set them up here and then maybe we'll wipe them off as we put them in Got the rag all soaked with purple power. We we'll start stacking these in, see how they look. I'm gonna start off putting all the snap-on players I got in here.
So about a half hour later, guys, this is what it looks like now. But I want to still, I got my vice grips I want in this drawer. From here, from this drawer, I want to get these vice grips in there. Oh my God. Another 24. So I'm thinking I could put the short ones here, maybe move those over, put short ones on, on this side, and then put another rack, put that other rack here in the middle or something. Or slide these taller ones out and put the rack here in the middle. So let's see what we can do. Alright guys, here's before, here's after. Shut up and sit down. guys so there it is took maybe uh, maybe a good 35 40 minutes you know I got all of them in the same drawer now I actually got a few more that at home that I could bring in and fit back into the drawer now you know it's not like I uh, it's not like I use every single one of them there's actually a few players in there that I forgot I had um, you know on these jobs could have made it easier but you know I, I have these tools I want to have quick access to them in case I ever need them uh, these wire racks pretty decent I was able to get the, the I was able to get the vice grips in there all in one so like kind of three rows of it you know maybe later I'll you know cut them and do the side things or something like that but those real long ones take up a good majority of the drawer even on a big drawer like this that's part one we're gonna do that one there on the players drawer stay tuned for part two We'll probably be knocking out those that socket drawer next. Show you guys how I organize that drawer. Maybe the wrench drawer. Got some ideas on that. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you get kind of a quick tip where I'm going along the lines of the wrench drawer. Um, I post stuff there every so often. Um, if you ain't follow me, come follow me. Uh, the JRC 54 stickers. I got the new colors in. So if you guys, uh, you know, if you guys had got the stickers off me, thank you. I really appreciate it. You guys are enrolled in the Solus Ultra giveaway. Um, some of you guys that bought them were pretty much enrolled, anyways. I want this scanner to go to somebody that needs this scanner. Um, you know, is looking for a scanner in the market for a scanner. But check this. I mean. Obviously, if you guys need a scanner and you whether you have a scanner or not, all I really ask is that 
whoever the winner is, if you have a scanner already, hey, pay it forward to the next guy. You know, no matter what it is. I don't care if it's a pocket scanner you use or an Altel or another older Snap-on scanner. You know, give it to the next guy that may need a scanner. Um, especially if this Solus Ultra is an upgrade for you. You know, pay it forward. So, uh, check out the JR, the new colors on the JR54 stickers. I got purple. We got the lime green, monster green. We got pink and yellow. So, my PayPal links in the bio page. Any two gets you in. Um, you know, automatic entry in the Solus Ultra giveaway. Uh, also, I got a registration form down at the bottom of this video. Just click on it. Uh, get you reg registered to win. Uh, I'll probably do. I'll probably be getting a winner maybe closer to Christmas. I, I, we're gonna probably push this along maybe another month. You know, let uh, let Thanksgiving pass by and you know these holidays kind of get into it. Uh, but I figure it'd be a nice Christmas gift to somebody. You know, whoever wins the Solace to uh, let them know. Make sure you register, email, all that stuff. Uh, gotta be a subscriber. Gotta be a supporter of the channel. Like, comment on the videos. You know, you'll get a better chance of winning that way. I, I gotta know who you are to win this thing. I'll probably reach out. I'll have your email. After you register, I'll probably reach out to the winner. Uh, let you know you won. Get the shipping address and all that stuff. If you win, you got a YouTube channel. Hey, do a quick demo of it when you when you receive the you know the scanner. Let everybody know where you got it from, or you know maybe do an unboxing when when it arrives or something like that. You know you don't have to be on camera. It's not like you have to record yourself. Just maybe record, set up a tripod, record yourself on your phone, opening the box, or maybe hooking it up to a car and give, giving us a rundown on it. You know things like that. Um, give me a shout out. You know things like that. Whoever wins it. I don't know who it is, but if you're hearing this and you end up winning it, remember this video. But register down below, guys. Links in the description. Um, good luck to everybody. Like I said, guys, I want, I'd like to, to anybody that needs a scanner, I'd like to have uh, win it. You know, I write this stuff off anyway, so it does help me. It does help the channel. You know, I don't just give stuff like this away. You guys do support me, and this is my way of giving back. Um, but you know it is a write-off, so that's that's one of the main reasons why I do it. Plus to help text. I mean that's another big reason why I do it. So if you want to support the channel, get the JRC 54 stickers. Whether you want to be in the Solus giveaway or not, that supports the channel. Things like that. Um, what else, guys? Um, we got the November tool giveaway. Don't forget about that. You know, you guys don't win the Solus. You still got a chance entry to win uh, the three tools for this month. I might throw in a bonus tool at the end of the month. Um, you know, go over to that video. I'll leave the I'll leave the video at the end of this one. Uh, head on over there and uh, you know follow the rules to get entry into that. You know these. Uh, I'll be running these. I'll be running these giveaways for another six months or so. So if you guys don't win this month, you don't win the Solus. I got uh, my Snap-on guys hit me with some news. You know, my Snap-on guys going out of business. So I mean, every uh, you know dealing with somebody for the last seven or eight years. You know, he's been in the business for 35 years you know it is what it is you gotta retire sometime so uh, he worked out a deal with me where you know I'm pretty much gonna go shopping on his truck and uh, you know just kinda clean house see what he's got left on there he said he's pretty much gonna give me everything for cost so that should be pretty cool I'll probably, I'll probably do a video on that one uh, just kinda show you guys what I bought if I'm able to score another scanner in that, hey, I'll grab another one. Maybe we'll do another giveaway. Maybe maybe the 5,000 giveaway. We'll do another we'll do another scanner giveaway or something cool. Another cool tool giveaway. But as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Get your JRC 54 decals if you want to support the channel. We'll check you guys in the next one. Signing out.